How does a sleeping bag become a painting? I started working with textiles just under three years ago. As a painter, I have always had a sensibility really similar to collage, a deep interest in combining disparate things. So piecing together fabric felt like a natural extension of that sensibility. I want to make textile objects, things like quilts or blankets, but make them behave like paintings. When I make these textile works, I think of pieces of fabric like I do brush marks. There's so much variety you can get with a brush. You can make marks that are large or small, heavy or light, opaque or translucent, scumbled or liquid. With fabric, I have to think pretty creatively to get that kind of range. I work with fabrics that I hand dye or paint, with solids, with novelty prints that I can buy at shops, different retro fabrics, and I also have a lot of my own digital photographs printed on cotton. I cut and I piece these together, and then I often cut into my newly assembled textiles again and again. This to me feels very similar to the process of layering and wiping away paint. I also like to make use of shared languages. I use squares in my work because they reference traditional quilt piecing, but they also look like pixels or digital camouflage or image blurring. I work hard to assemble these compositions so that they convey a sense of space, which is something I don't expect to see in a quilt, but that I do expect to see from many paintings. It's almost like my work is encouraging different media to exchange their secrets. Painting lets textile borrow its sense of space, and then textile shows painting how to interact with the world in a new way. It's kind of like I've made paintings that I could sleep in or wear or that could provide shelter. And to me, that's a really exciting idea.